With Autodesk Simulation Molds of Inside, you can simulate the injection compression and compression molding processes for both thermoplastic and thermoset materials. With injection compression molding, material is injected into an open mold. After the material is injected, the mold will close, which forces the material to flow through the cavity. Compression molding is a variation of this process, whereby the plastic is not injected but placed in the mold cavity. And again, the closing action will force the material to flow through the cavity. The size and placement of these so-called charges will greatly influence how the part is formed. Let's have a look at some examples. The injection compression technique is typically used for thermoplastic materials. Plastic is injected into a slightly open mold and the mold closing will form the part. Let us look at a compression mold example. With compression molding, a charge is placed in an open mold after which the mold is closed. With mold for inside, you can see how the part fills, and in case of a fiber filled material, how the fiber is oriented. In this case, we see a very unfavorable situation where high and low amounts of orientation of fibers is occurring, as well as that the orientation of fibers is very different in different directions. This may lead to warpage and performance problems. An alternative configuration of charges was tried, resulting in a different filling pattern and a more uniform and favorable fiber orientation. The 3D compression molding capabilities can also be used to simulate the resin transfer process for microchip encapsulation. The material in the transfer pot in this case is the charge and the mold will fill due to the compression of the transfer pot into the cavity. A wire ship analysis can also be performed in this configuration.